Right, I'm just going to give you a little medley that you can implement to work to improve the palm strike. Yeah, you can use this type of method with any type of tool. It could be a punch, it could be a slap, it could be an elbow, it could be whatever you want. But for now, we're just working it with a, a palm strike idea. The idea is to start at a low percentage of intensity to cut the neural pathway, get familiar with the movement. And once you've got the movement, then you want to start building in your explosion. A really good way to do that is to use a, a principle in sport strength conditioning called complex training. So whereby you start with an exercise that replicates the movement that you're doing under resistance to switch on the muscle fibers. And then once the muscle fibers are switched on, you take a plyometric type of motion that will keep them exploding. Over a period of time, this um, allows you to recruit more type 2B fast twitch fibers that are available to you and can be the difference between you accessing 60% of your power from cold when caught by surprise compared to 90%. So you want to really maximize the recruitment. So first thing you're going to do, you can look at tutorials for how to do the palm strike. All I'm working is the linear shot from the natural uh, non-violent posture. Just you're going to push off the back foot and step in the direction of the strike and turn my hip. And I'm just going to fire the weapon in. Fire the weapon in. Just going to shadow the movement. Shadow the movement. I'm not pulling back, just throwing the movement. Large gross motor action. Right? And from there I'm going to take some resistance. So I'll take a band attached to an anchor point and I'll move myself out so it's a bit of resistance and then I'll just work 10 of those shots like so under that resistance. So I'm cutting the pathway much deeper. As soon as I've got my reps from here, I'll take a heavier band and I'll pulse. So I'll move out and I'll press to a half position and I'll isometrically hold this for a period of 10 seconds. Turning the hip, I can feel the whole connection through the chain from my back foot, through my hips, through my core to the target. I'm holding a halfway point isometrically. Then I'm just gonna pulse that for about five to seven reps. I'm gonna step forward one more and hold one more in an isometric contraction. So now I've switched on the fire. I'm gonna shake it out. We'll take a medicine ball, about three to five kilos, and I'm gonna replicate the palm strike into the wall. When you use an explosive movement, you wanna accelerate the energy all the way out the end of your fingertips, as if you're throwing something away. Compare that motion to a bench press where you're pressing the bar and you would have to leave, actually have to deaccelerate in order not to throw it away. So the band motion switched on my starting strength and that apply a metric done within 30 seconds will um, keep my fibers exploding. From here, from the throat. Shake it out, and I'll go to impact. So a good thing to do, do about five to 10 palm strikes before you take on this medley. Shake it out, and then do five to 10 afterwards to get the feel if you've recruited more fibers. So what I'm gonna do, first of all, I'm just gonna meet that halfway position so you can give resistance. I'm gonna push against it, five, six, seven seconds. Then I'm gonna free my hand, and then is a good way to enhance your power in any type of linear or angular shot.